Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Estefania from Gaming with Estefania. And in this video, this third video in the series of tutorials on terrain and landscaping, we will talk about the terrain paint tools. That's right, we go here to the terrain and then we click here on painting. Once we're in the painting options, we can see all of these different textures or options that we have for the terrain. So let's take a look at them one by one. First, we find grass. We have two types of grass, short and long. You will usually need to combine them to create realistic habitats and realistic terrain. So let's compare them. If we play some short grass, let me bring up the intensity to 100%. You will see that right here, we really don't see any tall grass. We only see the short grass, which looks like a green terrain. But if we instead choose long grass, then we will see this long grass on the terrain on the floor. So combining these is often helpful. You can also play around with the intensity and with the size. For example, you could combine some short grass with some long grass and if you're patient enough you will get a terrain that looks more realistic because usually we have a combination of the two of them. Awesome, so this is for the grass. Now if we want to place down some soil we have two options too. We have the light soil and the heavy soil. Let's increase the size over here and let me show you the light soil. Light soil is exactly what the name says. It's light soil. You will see it right here. It's like a sort of cracked texture, which is simulating a very dry terrain. And you can also find the heavy soil over here. Let's move a bit. And right here you can see heavy soil, which is not so cracked. It's more like a dry terrain, but you won't see those little cracks on the floor for your habitat. So you can also combine some of these. Let's say for example that I make this a lot smaller and I bring down the intensity. Then I can add some of these cracks to the ground. Let me just put up the intensity here and I can make my terrains look more realistic by combining both types of soils. Great, so after that we find the rocks. We have two rocks. Let's go over here and let's see the different types of rocks. Let's bring the size up and let's bring the intensity up to 100% so you can see the difference. We have rock smooth, which is this rock over here. This is the smooth rock and you also have a rough version of the rock, okay? This is a very repetitive pattern, so I really recommend using rough rocks in very small areas in your terrain, okay? Because you can see that if you use it on large areas, then the terrain might look a bit repetitive. Okay, so if you combine these two, you will get a very nice effect, like something like this. You can also use rough rock for riverbeds or for the edges of your lakes, but you just have to play around with the intensity and how you combine them in your habitat to avoid making them look too repetitive or too artificial. Okay, and then we find some sand. We have two types of sand, fine and coarse. The fine sand is what we can see over here. And here we can also find some coarse sand, which has more texture applied to it. It really looks awesome if you zoom in, if you really check out the habitat. So I really recommend, like with the other tools, just combining them and playing around with the intensity to create a realistic looking habitat. You can also bring down the intensity and apply some fine sand on top of coarse sand to make it look softer. And finally, we find two more options, snow and auto paint. For the snow, well, we will get exactly what you're thinking about the snow. If we paint over here, we will see the snow on the floor. You will see just a white floor covered in snow, which it looks super nice, especially for animals like the polar bear and the penguins. It's just super nice. You can apply that to mountains as well and to all different types of terrain. And you can also have the auto paint tool over here. Okay, 
the auto paint tool is just a way to paint automatically and just keeping like the sample of the type of terrain that you already had applied in your terrain so if you just start here and you want to move this over here you will have the same type of paint it automatically guesses what type of terrain you should be using over here or you could be using or you want to use another tip about this is that let's say that for example you want to sculpt your terrain and you want to keep the paint that you already had in that part of the terrain let's say that we have rock over here rough rock and I want to keep that paint on my mountain, my new mountain. I just need to change this to sampled. And it will keep the same texture or paint that I already had in my terrain, okay? It just keeps the same paint. Instead, if I had the use selected option and right here I had the short grass selected, then this new paint will be applied to the terrain. Awesome, so now you know more about the painting tools in Planet Zoom. I hope you like this video. This is the third video in a series of tutorials covering terrain and landscaping tools. So I will see you in the next video. Have a great day.